Imagine, if you will, it's a nice summer day, so you decide to take a walk down the beach. As you're walking, you hear a very loud squawk, and you look up to see what kind of ugly seagull's about to dive bomb you. And instead of seeing a nice little feathered friend, what you see is a massive beaked monstrosity with a wingspan the length of a Honda Civic about to come attack you. Oh, it's the end of the Cretaceous, by the way. Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader. Now today we do have one of my favorite animals ever, and that is a pterosaur, specifically a pteranodon. Pteranodon here is a pterosaur. I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're gonna look at this and be like, oh, would you look at that, a flying dinosaur? Wrong. Oh, okay, well, if it's not a dinosaur, then it's a bird, right? Wrong again. So Hunter, does that mean it's a flying reptile? Correct, yes, third time's the charm. Pteranodon is a pterosaur, and pterosaurs lived from the end of the Triassic period to the end of the Cretaceous period. And they actually went extinct with the non-avian dinosaurs. Pteranodon here specifically lived at the end of the Cretaceous period. Now let's zoom in a little bit on this skull and see some cool things. What you're looking at right now is the skull of the Pteranodon. We also got this nifty little photo scale there to give you a reference. Pteranodon means toothless wing or wing without tooth. And you can see right there on the beak that it doesn't have any teeth. Something you'll notice about pterosaur skulls is they are pretty long compared to the length of their body. And that's not very common in flying animals, like think of birds, but pterosaurs have that. And depending on what type of person you are, that's either really cool or really dumb. And one of them is right. But anyway, so pterosaurs have their wings, of course, and that's actually their extended fourth digit. Uh, and this guy's from kids. No, 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 don't, don't look at that, don't look at that. That's a different individual. It's roughly the same size, so we could probably get away with it, but no, no, no. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, this guy has a goofy skull, and he's from Kansas. We're about out of time, so how we're gonna end this is I'm gonna show you my skull compared to this one. You can see just how big of a skull that is. That is where we're gonna end this video. Make sure you guys do like and subscribe. We put a new fossil of the week out every week. Oh, and before you go, some of you are probably wondering about that scenario from the beginning. Like, what are your odds of survival if this pteranodon starts charging at you? Yeesh.